without the uh, the fire chief. Oh, that's good. So that's oh, always that's a good. Good. <laughs> But anyways, uh, we're going to our final break. You're listening to the three guys rant on AdviceRadio.com. We have Fernando Flores. He's going to stay here and wrap up the show with us. We'll be back after this. That's horrible. Man. Yeah, that was bad. Oh, yeah. And I guess, it, I don't know if there's any charges can be filed on that either. No, dude. And you know what's funny? All the fucking Republicans and all of them and talk radio and Glenn Beck and all that They're defending the fire department. Well, you know, they didn't pay, so it's cool. That's, that's horrible. That is horrible. Yeah, no, he's messing around. He's just in my headset. But it'd be in yours too. Let me share the same one. I could just hear it off of yours. No, I know. That's what I'm saying though, because we're all tied in. Mm-hmm. You signal him and then he'll go away. I know, that's what I'm hoping it's for. Like, uh, well, he's he's talking, but I guess you can't hear him if you well, don't have your headset on, right? Well, he thinks, I think he thinks that he's isolated it. Yeah. I can hear it. So hey, are you choosing to ignore me? Ignore what? Talking to you. I have no idea Did what you're you talking hear me about. right now? Could, could you hear me? I heard you only when I put the, the heads, but I had it on like this. Okay. So, so like right now, like 30 seconds ago? Or while we're on no, the I just no, heard right you say, hey, right can you hear me? I didn't. Okay, so you could hear it. I did okay. hear it. Okay. Hey, so, uh, we're we doing two hours today or no? Are you tired? No. Just doing the one. Just doing the English and Spanish show. I'm trying to get a good picture for my new Facebook profile. I want to take one of these. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here, give me that nervous look of lasagna calling. What? He's all, what? what nervous look? Oh, when Yolanda's calling? Yeah. <laughs> no, when, when, uh, was he Yolanda? Yeah, Yolanda. What? No, lasagna. lasagna. Yeah, lasagna. Was a, yeah, was a cute the one where I was like, you know what? Do you guys have a rag? <laughs> I was like, holy shoot. And the child support payments and the whole deal? That is not cool. No. No. Oh, man. This is the last commercial. You can make it. Alpacas. Yeah, we're coming back down the mountain on the alpacas. Uh, apparently, we uh, missed the cue. Arvin turns on the light quickly there, and he's trying to After. get back at us. So, uh, we're up here for the final segment. After the alpacas are already down the bottom of the mountain, <laughs> <laughs> the light comes on. Oh, man. <laughs> you are the mule. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was going to leave it alone, but okay, we went there. Oh, hey, did you see this guy who got caught filling? A thousand gallon tank with counterfeit credit cards. Did you see yeah, that? but did you see that? He would have got away with it. His whole thing, the only reason he got caught was because the idiot took the license plates off of his van. Right. And it was acting suspicious. And, then, and you see where his gas tank is at? I mean, come on. Again. Well, because it was a modified van. I know, so but I mean, you know. <laughs> when, they, uh, when the sheriff pulled up to talk to him, well, they, they saw the cards. He had uh, the blank white ones that he had remastered. And it was... And you know they were stolen because in each one of the cards he had a uh, stick note with the zip code. Oh, wow. So he could put it in the machine. So he was doing fine. Yeah. It's just, you know, he went overboard. He posted a bill at 22000 Yeah, I was laughing about that That's one. That's not, uh, not, not a very bright guy. Hey, you know what? Since we got, a, we got a resident of Bell in here, and I know this one's near and dear to Mike. I don't know. Have you guys been following the uh, situation where there's that religious church group? Uh, it's the uh, Westboro Baptist Church. Who goes around to the soldiers' funerals and hangs right, up all right, the right. signs that says, you know, um, you know, God's punishing you. You deserve to die. Um, it's, it's gotten even more heated now, and I bring it up because you know we got a comedian in the house, and you guys understand some of the hot topics. But how the AP is pushing for the court not to find the church. And at first, you know, I was reading that I didn't understand, but the, the Associated Press says that even though what they're doing in their opinion is wrong, it's still First Amendment. Where are they posting it at, though? Well. Where are they putting the signs at? At the funeral. At, 
they're showing they're showing up to to do protests to do protests and a lot of their signs say that you know the soldiers are dying because the United States allows homosexuality. Wow. Yeah, but I, I don't know. Well, I don't know what AP is doing, but because uh, that guy, the father of that soldier, the first one, right. sued and won a five million dollar. No, that's what I'm trying to tell you. It's been overturned. It hasn't been overturned. The case is being heard by the Supreme Court today. Well, I'm looking at it right now. The Supreme Court is looking at it right now. Oh, my notes say that it was overturned because that's why the AP is encouraging the judge to uh, overturn it, saying that even though it's wrong. They don't want the courts to start finding these guys for free speech. How can you protest at a funeral? Like, but on that's what they're saying. But, okay, that's and that, that's why property. I bring it up, though, because the AP is saying that they don't want the judges to start judging based on sympathy, which is hysterical because we know these judges have always been so liberal in what they do anyway. But it's one of these situations that, you know, what direction do you go? Do you say that they have a First Amendment right? Well, here's the thing with that, you know, uh, one thing that people keep forgetting, because, yeah, I'm a comedian, so this kind of hits home, you know what I mean, because uh, there's a lot of things that I say, you know, that some people will take offense to, and, you know, sometimes you got you have to do that, it's part of the job, all right? When you talk about First Amendment rights and freedom of speech, you're talking about freedom of speech from persecution and prosecution, freedom of speech from arrest, not freedom of speech from Insult everybody, yeah. Right, so... I could tell you anything I wanted. You know what I mean? Like, for example, okay, you're Puerto Rican. I could, you know, hit you with some <laughs> some really bad racial slurs, right? And if you got up and hit me, hey, you know what I mean? I pissed you off, right? So I could say these things and not worry about getting arrested, but I can't say these things and not worry about consequences. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think, yeah, it's, it's totally immoral. You know what I mean? Come on, you're a church and you're, you're protesting and you're encouraging hate, first of all. How, you know... That, that's the other thing, all right? So, yeah, if if they get slapped with the $5 million lawsuit, I say go for it. I say pay it out. You know what I mean? Good good for the for the courts, you know? But at the same time, yeah, it is infringing on freedom of speech. You know what I'm saying? But, like I said, freedom of speech was against arrest and prosecution, not yeah, against consequences. Yeah, it's because right. a lot of people don't understand that. They think that freedom of speech means you can say anything. It's just like yelling fire in a movie theater. Right. You know? You can't. So th this limits even to freedom of speech. Right? Yeah. And if the courts find that that is inappropriate or it can be done, well, so be it. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not sure if a fine is what it needs. Like you say, you're not allowed to do it. Go on the street or go across the street. Stay off of the property wherever they're at. I haven't read the whole story if they're on actually on like the cemetery or on the church property or. Oh, no, there's, I mean, according to some of the pictures, and you've read what I have, but they're showing up at the cemetery. You know, so these people are trying to lay their soldier children to rest. You know, they died believing in whatever it is we're trying to stand for. Right. And you've got these morons on the side over there, which, fine, stand behind the Constitution. But to me, it's just wrong. It's yeah. wrong. Yeah, well, what we need to do is when they, they announce one of their protests, a bunch of, uh, of uh, ex-Marines, we just show up and beat just crap. <laughs> and say you were so <laughs> enraged, that's, that's right? Why, right? And yeah. say you were so that's enraged freedom by... freedom of expression. Exactly. Face in for being an idiot. Yeah. Yeah. See, well, and that's the part that gets to me is that yeah. that's what I'm saying is, you know, it, it's I, I know the positions they're taking, but to your point, you know, that a church group would take that position, and, and, I, and, I, and it, it amazes me how they're able to turn, you know, the, the travesty for this one family into a hate crime or into a, such hatred of homosexuality. Right. Mm -hmm. That we're being punished because of it. And and right. here's the thing that the important thing to, to say is that they're not necessarily protesting um, the soldiers that they think were homosexuals. No, they're not. They're protesting because they the government accepts homosexuality. Right. Then that's it has nothing saying. to do with the soldier right. being homosexual. Right. They may or may not that's be. Right. right. You know, and that's so what's the church just called? Want, uh, the missing. That's all, they, that's all they're looking for. Right. The Church of the Third Reich? Was it? Uh, you <laughs> know, it might as well be. I mean, <laughs> it's, 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 it's ridiculous what, you know, they're, they're going through. And uh, I know what the AP is going for, but I, you know, I don't know. For me, like I said, I was kind of disappointed to hear that the Associated Press would take a stance like that. I think especially in this situation. Well, you know, it was the best of press for you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But uh, what else do you got, man? Well, the other one that, that I was laughing about is, you know, how these big companies, we always talk about how public pressure and the things that people give into. And as I was looking for, you know, things for today, Frito-Lay. We all know Frito-Lay. I know you know, Frito-Lay personally. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to leave that one alone. And most of us in the room are old enough to remember the Frito-Bandito. Yes. Okay. Well, that was a big racial thing because a lot of, and I don't even know, if, I really don't know how many, because I've never met a single Hispanic of that era who was offended by it, but apparently it was overly offensive and the Frito Bandito had to be retired. But now Frito Lay is given in again to public pressure because you'll like this one. Their harvest chip bags 
which are biodegradable and you can plant and do other things, are too loud. Oh, wow. The bag is too loud? The bag is too loud. So apparently... For where? For where? <laughs> no, but you know, I've, I've had some of these. I, <laughs> yeah, I remember, great. and it says biodegradable right on the, you know, the package. It's like made from recycled materials. You know what I mean? And it's like crinkly. You know what I mean? You open the bag and you, it's cool. But when you're eating, you're holding it, it makes a lot of noise. If you're at home, who cares? <laughs> well, yeah. you know, apparently, you're in a movie theater. Right, exactly. You sneak in. Like but I've never, been like to, I've never been to a movie theater that sells, sells chips. No, that's why you got to sneak it in. Okay, but That's why it's Latino <laughs> groups protesting, because we Latinos, we sneak our own They don't want to get caught eating them in the show. Okay, so but what do. I'm saying is, really? People have that much time on their hands that enough people called in or wrote in to Frito Lay to change the bag because it makes too much noise. They're just mad. The guy who, who was selling him the bags before lost his contract. <laughs> and he's mad now that he went to a bag. Yeah, that's probably what he's doing, man. <laughs> so, yeah, man. But, you know, yeah, you're right. When, when we Latinos go to the movie theater, man, we take our own stuff, hey, man. Hey, listen. Oh, you know what? Let me tell you something. True story. And this this is, you got to, you know that um, Blockbuster filed for bankruptcy not too right. long ago. You got to look out for that, man, because... They sell their candies, their movie candy, like for cheap when they when they start selling everything, right? Oh, the movies, man. the games. The, the movie candy is like 50 cents. You go to the theater and it's like four, four dollars and bucks. Yep. Four bucks. So it wasn't long ago, you know, I went to the theater with my brother, caught whatever movie, I can't remember what it was. And we stopped at Blockbuster. It just happened to be going Closing. out of business. Oh, man. We had our pockets packed. And of course, like true Latinos, you know, we were like, hey, bro, you want some candy? And we were selling it, you know, <laughs> doubling our profits, a dollar. We bought it for 50 cents. Sell it to them for a dollar, make some profit, you know. There you good. go, a good, good entrepreneur right there, Absolutely. Man. Hey, Absolutely. Uh, we had another call. Uh, the caller's name is Nikki. Hello, Nikki? Hello? Caller? Nikki? Sounds like she's on the air. Oh, is it? Nikki? Oh, I've been forgot. Oh, wait a minute. No. There you are. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we can hear you now. It's just that ex executive producer didn't know what button to hit. I apologize. Uh, but here's his sign. He, he never knows which button. Well, anyways, uh, you're in the air with Fernando. And you got about a minute and a half. Hi, uh, is this is this um, um, Nicky Nalgas by any chance? I lied. Uh, we don't have that kind of time. <laughs> well, we got 20, 10 seconds. Oh, <laughs> man, you should have called earlier. We got to go. Oh. Hey, Throwing us out of the building. <laughs> hey, Nick, you call us next week. Uh, we'll be back with another edition of the Three Guys Round. We want to thank Fernando Flores for oh, being here guys. with us. They're on Facebook.com. Flores Fernando. Look him up. And he's at the Ice House Friday at 8 o'clock. Thanks for listening in to the Three Guys Rant on VicerRadio.com. <laughs> Take care. Late. Sorry, Nikki. Damn. Oh. That sounds like that could have been a good call, man. Yeah, she's 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 pretty hot too. We're a car back. All right. Hey man, thank you guys, man. That's freaking awesome. Yeah, good. I had a great time. I appreciate you coming down. Man. No, no, you guys, I, I really appreciate this. You know, I have a a whole bunch of comedian friends because I book uh, the show. If you guys want people to come in and sit in and do whatever that are going to be... He's putting together a comedy show, period, that we're trying to oh, do nice. as a fundraiser for a few of our groups. Right, right. Because uh, we help a lot of, you know, we do Kiwanis, we do Boys oh, and Girls Club, right. we do Salvation Army. Yeah, I mean, we'd love to talk to you about putting some stuff together to make it bigger. Yeah. We'll Absolutely. plug it all we can here, get right. more of the comedians to listen. Yes. Yeah. We'd love to We're, we're for, again, it's, it's, I don't know if it's the wrong date, we were looking for April Fool's Day. For first half of the on a Friday. I just don't know how big that is on the Friday. Yeah. All right. Don't go too far, Phil. Get a picture. It's a Friday night. It's a Friday night. It'll work. It'll work. And you know, I have a lot of comedians that, a lot of comedian friends that can put out the word. Okay. You know what I mean? Only. What kind of venue are you talking about? Well, you know who Loud Dog is? Comedian. I know he's a comedian. He's been doing it for about a year, but he seems to be moving pretty quickly. He's been on the show. And talking to him, and he's thinking that uh, we might even be able to do like the Bray Improv. Mm -hmm. uh, if we can do something like that, I mean, that'd be ideal. I just don't know if, what the fees are or, or how right. everything could be worked out. Uh, I don't know as far as the Bray Improv goes. I have no idea. Mm -hmm. And fundraisers are always um, kind of a tricky situation. Right. You know what I mean? Because it, it's all about, well, what are you going to do? You know, are right. you going to give part of the money to the Bray Improv, or yeah, is it cool. all going to be for the charity? Right. You know well, what I mean? Yeah, that's why, we're, like I said, we. I had the idea like last week or two weeks ago, and I shot it over to these guys, and they're like, "Yeah, let's do it." Yeah. But it's like we're involved with so many different things that it's like every one of us 
does something different than we're off, so kind of working together. Right. So I've just been trying to see if it's even a possibility. Because I'm like, well, first off, it's April 